So one of the most common problems that students come back and tell me that they saw in their GED test and they didn't know how to deal with were these questions that make you identify a function. Identify a function. So this is an example of that. It says, which of the following tables represent a function? So I'll give you the math definition of a function. A function is a relationship and don't worry, I'll explain after we put it in math, but you have to know this definition. A relationship in which each input value is mapped to one and only one output value. And I'm gonna skip a little bit of room because usually I want you to know we refer to input values as X's. So it's mapped to one and only one output value, and we usually refer to an output as a Y. This is not always the case. We could use other letters. We don't even have to use letters. We could just say input, output. But a lot of times, we name our input values X's and our outputs Y's. Now, relationships are just anything mathematical where you have two variables. So here's a case. Um, an XY table is an example of a relationship. So this is an XY table. We see X and Y on a table. And here we see our inputs and our outputs. And basically what we want to make sure to see if it's a function is if each input value is mapped to only one output value. Okay, so I'm actually gonna start over here with this simpler one all the way on the right. If you look at one like this, you see when I inputted one, I outputted one. And when I input two, I output two. And I can see that for each X I have, I have uh, an output value of a Y. Now, the nice thing, really, what you need to look for is repeats. Do you see how there's no repeats here? Okay. Um, because I'm trying to see, basically what I don't want is I don't want the same X, like a 1 over here and a 1 over there, uh, mapped to two different Ys. I need to be sure in a function that whatever I put in, I always get the same answer out. And so as long as you don't find any repeats in this column, you can be sure that that thing is a function. That's definitely a function. Now I'm going to come up back over to this first one for some contrast. Uh, take a look here. In this one, I had an input value of X and yet I have another input value of X and sometimes when I input X I get out one when sometimes when I input a one of X I get out a one but sometimes when I input a one of X I get out a seven I can't have that I can't have sometimes I get one value and sometimes I get another when I put in the same number and so because of this repeat but they have a different value here this is not a function This is not a function. In fact, what I often joke around is for a uh, relationship to be a function, your ex must be faithful. Some of you guys broke up because your ex wasn't faithful. You know what I mean. Your relationship was dysfunctional because he was not faithful. So your ex must be faithful, only seeing one Y. Now, let's look at one more example. Take a look over here. I can see that each one of these is a different unique X. So who cares about over there? This is a function, okay? Now, I'll, I this particular question doesn't have one like this, but I wanna show you one other example that often fools students. So let's imagine that we had another table. Now, a lot of students will take one look at this table and they'll say, Kate, this is not a function, and they'll rule this out. And I always ask why. And they say, because look at these Ys repeating. And what I have to say to you is it's a total double standard with functions, just kind of like in the world. It's only the X that needs to be faithful. We only care if we have the same X seeing more than one Y. It actually does not matter if all these Ys have different Xs. Nobody cares. It's only this column we're bothering to look for repeats for. So this would be a function.